Une demi-heure de saveur est présentée par Parents indépendants. Bonjour, bienvenue à une demi-heure de saveur. Mon nom c'est Patrick. And my name is Maria. Today we will be making a jerk chicken. We'll start on this side and we'll complement our jerk chicken with a coconut red bean rice. As well as. On va avoir des légumes uh, routis. So alors. We'll... <laughs> sorry, go ahead. No, no, hello. <laughs> alors, on va commencer avec la marinade. So let's start with the marinade. We'll have a bowl. And uh, you want to tell us uh, what we have here? Yes. Um, so, the jerk chicken, the term jerk chicken, comes from Jamaica. It's said that it was started in Africa, but it's actually traditionally known as Jamaican. Um, and there's already spices that come pre-assembled, and they'll be called jerk spice. We usually use that at work, but today we figured we would try something different and something fun. So we're using cinnamon, nutmeg, um, allspice. Allspice is very important because it's what gives it the flavor, um, thyme, and normally, traditionally, they use scotch bonnet as their heat ingredient because jerk chicken does need to have a bit of heat. But today we're using jalapeno. The heat from the chicken will complement the creaminess and the sweetness of the rice. That's right. So right here I have all the dry spices, the jalapeno. Okay. We have ginger. Oh, that's for you. And that's for me. Alors, je vais commencer à éplucher les oignons et on va les émincer. And on this side, I'm going to do the garlic. Now, you can use a garlic press if that's easier or you can cut it with your knife. It's up to you. Aussi, si vous avez euh, beaucoup d'ingrédients, vous pouvez toujours utiliser le Robocop. Ça va un petit peu plus vite. Mais fallu ici, on a juste un petit peu d'ingrédients. On va juste le faire à la main. Sometimes it's good to, to make a, a lot of marinade and keep it frozen, just in case you want to do it, do, again? Do it again. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Je vais rajouter les oignons dans la bol. And I have the garlic over here. Parfait. I'll just work on the ginger. And we also are using green onion. So I'll start cutting it over here. When we were prepping up for the recipe, we were talking about it being a great idea to cook the jerk chicken in the, on the barbecue. Oui, absolument. Uh, je recommande si vous faites un uh, jerk chicken, uh, le faire sur le barbecue, you'll have a better taste. Yeah, you'll, you'll get like the char. the char taste. Yes, of course. All right. Okay, green onion. Parfait. And then we're going to use do our liquid ingredients. So, maintenant, on a... Oops. Oh, pardon. <laughs> on a les oignons verts, les oignons et le gingembre. Et on va mesurer uh, le liquide. I think we need balsamic vinegar. Soy. Soy, the uh, soy soya. Olive oil. 
Now we're doing a wet marinade. You can also use your jerk spice as a dry rub. Yes. So it's completely up to you. We like using the wet marinade because we like leaving it overnight. So ce poulet là, on va essayer de le mariner au moins une heure. Mais pour des meilleurs résultats, je laisserai ton poulet bon 24 heures, toute une soirée. Tu vas avoir un meilleur résultat en fait de goût. So this was balsamic. Balsamic. Soy. Now the the addition of the soy is, I think it's it's good. Like I think it adds flavor. Okay. If you were to use your dry rub, of course you wouldn't do that, right? Okay. So I'll we'll add the jalapeno. Et le reste des épices, on va bien mélanger. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. It smells good. And sometimes if you find that it needs a little bit more oil, you can always play with that. So we'll just add a bit more oil. The oil will help um, the marinade to cover the chicken. To cover the chicken. And it won't really like water down the flavor or reduce the flavor. So we have our chicken here. We have skinless, boneless chicken. Chicken breast. Um, so, voilà la marinade. We'll just, so I guess we'll just put the chicken and you want to get your hands dirty or I'll get my hands dirty. <laughs> So I'll let you uh, put the marinade on the chicken and uh, I'll massage the chicken. Of course. I don't like that. Well, you know what? J'ai une idée. I'll just grab a fork. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, also, what, what is easier if you're going to do it at home, put everything in a Ziploc bag and just shake it and make sure it's covered everywhere. And just that works too. Bon idée. And then you don't have to dirty a bowl or a plate or your hands. <laughs> hey, when you work in the kitchen, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. That's it, that's true. It smells really good. So I'm gonna give you some plastic wrap to put that in the fridge. Et voilà, juste faire certain de couvrir tout le poulet avec la marinade. Et voilà. I'm going to let you wrap that and we'll put that in the fridge. Mm -hmm. We'll let it sit. If you make a lot of marinade, whatever you mixed with the chicken, do not save that. No. That cannot be reused. No. So make sure you separate, like you keep different amounts. Separated. Separated. Mm -hmm. Alors, on va commencer avec les euh, légumes rôtis. On a des pommes de terre, une courge, des navets, oignons, et puis des carottes. So, I'm just going to grab the, there we go, we'll grab the bowl. On va commencer à éplucher les carottes. You want to yep. peel the carrots? If you don't like um, any of these um, uh, vegetables that we're using, you feel free to use your own, like to... Exactly. On va commencer à pucher la courge. And what's important about this is that you make um, the size of the vegetables even. Don't make uh, really tiny carrots and really big pieces of uh, turnip. 
because they won't have the same cooking time. So try and keep them as even as you can. The onions we usually do a bit bigger because the onions cook fairly fast. Yes. You really want the onions to uh, caramelize just to give the other uh, vegetable some flavors. There you go. Alors on va juste couper un gros dé. Push. We'll just try to keep it the same size here. Mm -hmm. What I'll do with the carrots is I'm just going to cut it into little uh, angled pieces, I guess. <laughs> kind of like that. We'll cut the navet. So I'm just turning it around and just doing different cuts. And for the potatoes, we have a really nice sized potato, so we're not really going to cut much. Uh, we're just going to cut this one that's a little bit bigger, just in half. And maybe this one. Et finalement, on va couper l'oignon. Feel free to use the there's the the mix of potatoes, the red potatoes, the yellow potatoes. Ah, les pommes de terre colorées. Yes. Feel free to use that. Feel free to use red potatoes. Red potatoes are beautiful when they're roasted. They're soft and tender and they're very um they're sweet. I really like using those. Merci. So maintenant, on a coupé les légumes, on a les oignons, les pommes de terre, la courge, le navet et carottes. Alors, we're just going to add some spice to it, give it some uh, flavor. Do you want a bit of oil? Yeah, let's to put coat some oil. everything. We got salt and pepper. So we have some salt. And I have some salt. And I have some salt. idea here, you can customize. It's completely up to you. You can add just salt and pepper. You can add um, vegetable spice. You can add anything you like. You can be creative. Mm -hmm. so, on va juste le mélanger. That reminds me of mixing wings. We used yes. to work at a place where we used to do wings night, and we used to have, we used to go like through like, what, 300 wings a night? So many wings. Actually more than 300, because that's like maybe 600 or 800. Yeah. And we used to do that, like just mixing it in a bowl. So every time I see that motion, I'm like, wings. Wings. <laughs> Et voilà. Pan, we we'll just lay down. What I find about vegetables like that is that it's really easy because you throw them in at the same time as everything else or yep. a few minutes after your chicken and you're good to go. And it's uh, very easy to do as well. So. Alors, nos légumes sont prêts pour aller dans le four, mais premièrement, on va commencer le poulet. You want to get the chicken? Yes, we have some chicken that has been marinating for a while and I'll show you in. So this time we left it in a Ziploc bag. As you can see, the marinade covered completely the chicken and it's been marinating for a while, a really good while. So we'll start using it right now. Uh, malheureusement, on n'a pas un barbecue ici dans la cuisine, uh, malheureusement. Alors, on va juste le faire saisir dans le poêlon. 
On va allumer le feu. On va laisser le poêlon chauffer. You want to pass me a bit of oil? Mm -hmm. Merci. <laughs> I can never get the caps open properly. On va rajouter un petit peu d'huile. Merci bien. Quand vous voulez euh, toujours saisir euh, votre viande, euh, toujours attendre que euh, votre poêlon c'est chaud. You want to hear the sizzle of it. Could you want to sear the chicken? That's what will keep the juice of the chicken inside rather than drying it out. Yeah. So, premièrement, on va rajouter les légumes dans le four. If you have a really thick piece of chicken, you can always butterfly it or cut it thinner. Yep. If you want to um, coordinate your timing with your vegetables, the vegetables will take between 20 to 25 minutes, which is normally what the chicken takes. Yeah, it depends on what temperature. I, uh, premièrement, le four est à 425 Fahrenheit, so mm -hmm. I like to have a... You also want a high heat for the chicken. Yes. My pan is getting almost ready, so... Et voilà. And this one we'll have to throw out because it's been t touching uh, raw chicken. Perfect. Là, on va juste laisser le poulet saisir un petit peu. Can you smell that? I can, yeah. The garlic. It's great. The onions, the ginger. Um, we will be finishing our chicken with, we're going to be squeezing lime juice on top of it. Now, if you want to add this to your marinade, um, we do have it included in the recipe, and it will tenderize your meat. So it'll help break it down a little bit. Not the shape or anything, it'll just tenderize it. It smells, yeah, it smells really, really good. Oh, super, super. And I like how the, the color of the soy sauce gives it a nice, even brown color to the oh, chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can smell the allspice all spice all and spice. the ginger. Yep. So right now we're just trying to give the chicken uh, a color. On va colorer, colorer le poulet. Et voilà. C'est parfait. On va le tourner d'abord. And the onions really stick to it yep. very nicely. On va juste laisser colorer uh, l'autre côté. Après ça, on va le mettre directement dans le four. What if we, um, you cut me half of the lime juice? Okay. And I'll just squeeze some lime juice on top. Sounds good. What I'm doing as I'm rolling it is I'm making sure it softens and it becomes more easier to, ju uh, to use and juicier. <laughs> yeah, you get more juice. That was like a little tongue twister for me. Parfait, merci. Je vais juste rajouter un peu de jus de lime sur le poulet, juste pour rajouter du goût. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Et voilà. Ah, oh, you can smell the lime juice now. Mm -hmm. Alors, le poulet est prêt pour aller dans le four. On va juste fermer le feu. Et voilà. Alors, le poulet est dans le four. Les légumes sont dans le four. Euh, nous allons prendre une pause. Et on va revenir. Alors, bienvenue. Maintenant, nous allons commencer le riz. Side, uh, we have most of our stuff ready. So we have our brown rice, coconut milk, red kidney beans, tomatoes. 
Our dry spices we're using are red crushed chili, thyme and all spice, as well as onions. Alors je vais commencer à couper les les oignons. On va juste les émincer. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. While he does that, I'll cut some parsley that we will be using to decorate. When voilà. you when you cut your parsley, it's very important to have a sharp knife. What you don't want to do is you don't want to go be doing this going back and forth because what you're doing is you're bruising the parsley. So it won't look as nice and it won't taste as nice. Alors, on va commencer le riz ici, je vais juste bouger les poêlons, allumer le feu. I'm going to steal a bit of oil, Maria. Merci. On va acheter un peu d'huile. Et on va juste rajouter des oignons ici. Oops. I'm making a bit of mess. <laughs> And I'll just grab the wooden spoon. Mm -hmm. Merci. For the tomatoes and the kidney beans, you want to reserve that closer to when the rice is almost done. What will happen is that they'll disintegrate and actually look like mush. So you don't want that. You want to save it till just about yeah. till the end. Alors, on va rajouter les oignons. On va juste faire suer les oignons, les faire cuire un petit peu. On va rajouter les épices aux oignons. Et voilà, thanks. The coconut milk we're using, we're using the one in the can. We're not using um, the one you would use for your drinks. So make sure it's the wine in the can. You want the fat, you want the creaminess and the fat from the wine in the can rather than the wine you would drink. So I'm just gonna add the, the rice. You wanna check the chicken? Yes, of course. On va rajouter le riz. Et voilà. On va juste le remuer un petit peu. I'm just right behind you. So how we're gonna check the chicken is make sure that you take it out with And I'm just gonna check the temperature of the chicken. If the chicken lets me. It has beautiful color. Yeah. So we're exactly where we want to be. You want the chicken, if you're using a thermometer, you want it to be over 165. We normally try to push it to 170 just to make sure. Some people touch it and they know just by the resistance, just to make sure it's good to use a thermometer. Okay. On va rajouter l'eau au riz. Et le lait de coco. So I'm right behind you. I'm just going to put this here because I'm going to put the chicken on hold. I'm going to use the other oven. Je suis pas certain que tout le riz est dans le liquide. Et voilà, on rajoute le couvert et on va laisser le riz cuire un petit peu plus. How about the vegetables? The vegetables are almost ready, but not quite there yet. So I'm going to bring the oven a little bit higher to 450 to 500 now. So thanks, I called for. Let's 
to $4.95. Le riz a cuit pendant 15 minutes et le riz est prêt. Et on va rajouter les tomates. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Les tomates. Et les haricots rouges. Merci. Et on va juste tout bien mélanger. de ça. Alors, le poulet est cuit et les légumes sont prêts. On va tout sortir. Look at those nice veggies. Beautiful, they smell great. All right, are you ready to... Uh, I'm ready. Plate? Would you like to do a decoration with the lime and show people? Sure. So what he's doing is he's doing a cut, but he's not going all the way down, he's just going halfway, and then doing a second cut, going all the way down. It's a very easy decoration to do with any citrus. And then you cut a small... Just that bottom here. And you twist. And then you just do a little twist, and voila. So, let's start with the rice. I'll just grab the small bowl. Okay. On va juste prendre une petite bol, mélanger le riz. Je vais juste remplir le bol de riz. Je vais juste prendre l'assiette, le renverser. Uh -huh. Et voilà. Alors, on va prendre des légumes rôtis. On va juste la mettre un peu ici. Prendre des courges, des pommes de terre, des carottes et des oignons. Et voilà. Do you want to put a bit of parsley on top mm -hmm. of the veggies? We will do. Perfect. And I'll just grab the chicken. Yeah, we'll go this way. Et voilà. Maybe we can put the lime here. And I'll put a little bit of parsley on the chicken, just for color. Oops, that's a yeah. big parsley. <laughs> it looks fantastic. Here we go. I think the is ready. Et voilà. We have our jerk chicken avec le riz, tomates, les haricots rouges, le coconut et les légumes rôti. Ladies first. Well, I'm going to go directly for the chicken. Beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. How is it? Very, very good, very flavorful. And I would like to try the rice. Mm -hmm. It complements each other really well. Absolutely. And a potato, why not? A petit goût épicé avec les uh, jalapenos. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I'm gonna try the uh, carrots, squash. Mm. Perfect. We hope that you enjoy the recipe and that when you make it at home, you'll love it. Merci beaucoup. À la prochaine.